Today, I'll be showing the top 10 best units in Toilet Tower Defense. Now, before I show any of them, I want to say there are a lot of different strategies you can do, and a lot of units are better in certain situations, so you probably won't agree on all of these, but these are just the top 10 in my opinion. So, number 10, starting off, is the Ninja Cameraman. So, this guy is one of the best starting units, because on every mode except for Easy, you start out with 200, and he only costs 200, so you can put him in the beginning, and he starts out doing 100 damage every second which is enough to get small toilets on the first wave even if there are two people so he's just very useful for the beginning and you can actually use him until a bit later in the game I'd say around like a nightmare and abysmal mode maybe around wave 10 20 they start becoming less useful but up until then this is one of the most solid units to use in the very beginning I would put him higher but he's just not really that good mid game and not great at all late game he does not do enough DPS because at the end, he ends up doing 2,000 DPS for $1,700, so that's more DPS than the amount of money, which most things do less DPS than it costs to max them out, so that is a really good deal. But number 9, I'd say is very, very underrated. I just took out a loan from the toilet bank, and I'm gonna show you guys. Here is the Titan Cinema Man. So the reason he's number 9 is because he does 15,000 AoE DPS when you max him out, which I know it's insanely expensive, but this guy is really underrated. At least I see a lot of people saying that he's not that good, but at the end he does 15,000 DPS for 36,000, meaning, well, of course it's super expensive to upgrade him, but think about this, if there are like 10 dual blade toilets for some reason, which actually happens a lot, a lot of the time a lot of things like this spawn, he will literally do 15,000 DPS to every single one of them. Now, that means in total, he is literally doing 150,000 DPS right now, and 150,000 DPS for only 36k sounds like a really, really good deal to me. Of course, there are some other pretty good AoE units, like an honorable mention that I would like to make is the Rocket Cameraman. He didn't make it on the top 10, but he's also a pretty good starter unit besides the Ninja Cameraman. For only 3.15 thousand, he does 2,000 AoE damage per second, which is very, very efficient, but not nearly as much as the Titan Cinema Man. I also only included units that do damage on this list. List. So, um, I'd like to give an honorable mention to the camera repair drone as the best healing unit because, okay, it's cheaper to max out than medic and it can heal something every 0.1 seconds. I know it might not seem that good if a lot of things get stunned, but if both you and your teammate have it, if you have two of these down, like, you'll probably never get stunned, at least if you have, like, decent spacing between your units and stuff. Another honorable mention to scientist cameraman because he literally, for only 9,000, will give you 1,000 per round. So it costs 9,000 to max him out. It takes a little longer to max out than the pumpkin farmer, but at the end, you can put four scientists and five pumpkin farmers. At the end, four scientists will give you 4k per wave, and five pumpkin farmers will only give you 2.5k, so you'll get double from the scientists. You'll end up getting more money in the end, even though it is more efficient to upgrade pumpkin farmers. The number eight unit is the upgraded Titan Cameraman. So this guy starts out actually being pretty good with 800 damage per second, so if you kind to just put scientists and maybe one ninja cameraman to save up to place them it is kind of worth it but after the first three upgrades the next upgrade is really expensive and only lowers his cooldown it also removes his laser from the middle and replaces it with an aoe thing so it's very expensive doesn't really add much dps and if you don't wait until later in the game to get this upgrade then you risk losing because like the, the aoe circle is really small but when you upgrade him again it ends up being worse it. And, I mean, his AoE fire thing right here literally slows things down, so it is a pretty good unit to have. If you don't want to wait to fully max this guy out to slow things down, though, another honorable mention is the TV Woman. Everything I'm just saying is an honorable mention is a pretty good unit, but just didn't make it on the top 10 list. But number 7 has to be the upgraded Titan Speaker Man. The reason I say he is better than the Titan Cameraman is, okay, the upgraded Titan Cameraman costs 20 8k to max out, 
about the upgraded Titan speaker, man, only costs 13k. So for literally a little bit less, you can get two upgraded Titan speaker, man. But I mean, if you get maxed out scientists, you can probably afford to have a lot more upgraded Titan cameramen. So even though it costs more, you end up doing much more DPS at the end. Because if you just use upgraded Titan speaker, man, you're probably gonna have a bit of leftover money. But anyways, this guy, pretty cheap to max out. He has AoE. The AoE is actually somewhat big, but it only makes up 2,000 out of his 12,000 DPS, so... I spawned a massive buzzsaw oven just to see if these guys are good. I don't know. He has 1.8 million health. But anyways, let's go to the next unit. It is... Okay, so far, the ones I mentioned previously, all of them except for the ninja cameraman at the beginning have cost more to max out than their DPS. But the glitch cameraman actually does 12.5 thousand DPS for only 8,500 so this is the cheapest mythic to max out but of course if you only use these guys you're gonna have a lot of leftover money because they're really cheap i'd say they're really good for like mid game maybe when you start getting into late game but late game you probably want to have better stuff the 12.5k dps might not win you the halloween event he also doesn't have that much range only 35 range when max out compared to the upgraded titan cameraman 60 range but even if you do the math to see how much more area the upgraded titan cameraman covers the glitch cameraman literally at double the price would still be a lot less than maxing out the upgraded titan cameraman he also only gets stunned for half the time whenever he gets stunned by literally anything so if a normal thing stuns something for two seconds he only gets stunned for one second now for the number five best unit in the game is the engineer cameraman now if you do the math since he spawns well when he's maxed out he spawns a tank that has 50 thousand health and does 20,000 or 2,000 dps so the health alone does 2.5k dps basically because for every second it takes to spawn is like 2,500 health because 50k health every 20 seconds and then the laser on the tank itself does 2,000 dps so essentially he does 4,500 dps but they keep spawning during intermissions they keep spawning the entire time that stuff is on the track and the wave is going on so even though it's less dps for spending the 6,200 to upgrade it than you would get if you had something else. If you think about it, they basically have a range over the entire map and it never stops doing the damage because the tanks keep spawning and it keeps building up on the track. The tanks also stop while they're attacking something so they can slow down and like build up even more. So it's really hard to compare how worth it it actually is. All I can say is with Engineer, I always end up doing a lot better than without it because he's just really good for clutching and not expensive to max out and i'm gonna have to put scientist tv man at number four i would put him higher but while there are some really really good things about him there is one very bad thing so if you do the math when his thing is maxed out it has 250,000 health and when it gets destroyed it has 30 seconds in between respawning which is a kind of long time okay everything on it does 20,000 dps right now and literally 10,000 of that is aoe because this cannon in the middle launches an explosive twice per second that does 5,000 damage and it has like a blast radius the radius isn't really that big but it still is pretty good so literally 20k dps with some aoe and since it takes 30 seconds to respawn and it has 250k health that's about 8,300 damage per second so if you do the math like that then it basically does 28.3k dps but the bad thing okay everything else that does really high dps it consistently does it with when something's in the range because like even if it gets stunned it gets healed but this can't get healed it disappears for a whole 30 seconds once it's broken so even though it's really really strong and does a ton of damage it just straight up goes away whenever it gets broken for a while so it is a really really good support unit but it's just not consistent enough like the units above it that i'm about to show you guys so at number three i'm gonna have to put sinister cameraman because he literally does 16k dps for only 15.9k to max him out which i'd say is pretty fair so let me max him out real quick and 35 range also if you look at his back you may know 
notice something pretty interesting. That part on his back is supposed to be glowing, though. I don't know why it's not glowing, but um, that's up to Sinister Cameraman to fix it himself. Anyways, number two is the Corrupted Cameraman. So I'm actually in between this and the number one spot, but anyways, number, this could be number one. I'm gonna just say number two, but this is kind of interchangeable between number one because they were used for different purposes, I guess. So this is the strongest unit in the game for DPS. It does not do any AOE damage, but he can absorb two stuns once you get each shoulder pad. I'm pretty sure it's at, yeah, level two, he gets one shoulder pad, level three, he gets the other one. So after level 2, he can absorb 1 stun. Level 3, he can absorb 2. So he literally has 25k DPS and can absorb some stuns. And it costs 25k to place him and fully max him out. So that's literally like 1 to 1, a dollar for 1 DPS. But if you also factor in that he has 50 range, that's really good because everything that costs less than its DPS, like the Sinister Cameraman only has 35 range, and then the Ninja Cameraman had like, like 20 or something, and the Glitch Cameraman also also has not that much range, so like, this is totally worth it. I mean, if you compare this to something earlier on the list, like Upgraded Titan Cameraman 28k for 20k DPS, so this is literally cheaper and has more. Well, I mean, to be fair, the Upgraded Titan Cameraman does have a little bit more range and can slow things down with the 5k AoE damage. But I'd say the Corrupted Cameraman is definitely better in the end because he just straight up does a ton of damage. But what I put at number one, but let me say it's kind kind of tied between Corrupted Cameraman and this, the TV Spider, because the Spider TV is meant for AoE damage, so it doesn't necessarily do a whole bunch of damage up front like the Corrupted Cameraman, but it is literally the best AoE unit. It's better than Corrupted Cameraman in circumstances where a lot of stuff spawns, because he does 10k AoE DPS for only 12.7k to place and max him out. Now, if you compare that to the Titan Cinema Man, it is a little more than one-third the price, but does two-thirds of the damage. So, like, if you place three TV spiders, it will cost about as much as the Titan Cinema Man, but he has more range to walk around, and three of them will do 30k AoE DPS, which is double Titan Cinema Man. So, this is about around twice as efficient, which is really good. I mean, it is the rarest unit, so of course it has to be pretty good, but let me spawn something. Like, let me, let me get three spider TVs for this example. So say for some reason, like, I just became evil and I changed one of the levels to a hundred vacuum toilets. Now, you're not gonna be able to get those with a lot of corrupted cameramen, probably, because they're just gonna attack the first one. 25k DPS is a lot, but I spawned these with 317k health for some reason. So if I have a lot of spider TVs, then look at how many they're attacking. The spider TVs are damaging, like, it depends on the angle, but they're definitely getting over, like, 10 to 15 at once. Maybe making them literally do like 150k DPS per spider TV. Now that is insane damage. That is much more than even the Corrupted Cameraman can do. But of course, if you have a lot of spider TVs and like the Halloween boss spawns, you're not gonna be able to get them with the spider TVs. You're gonna need the Corrupted Cameraman, which is why I said they're tied at number one because you definitely need them for different things. But spider TV is by far the best AOE unit and Corrupted Cameraman is the best damage unit. But those are the top 10 units in Toilet Tower defense. Again, this is just my opinion. I made this video for fun. Please don't, like, get mad at me in the comments or something if I didn't put a unit that you like on it. But as always, subscribe with the notifications on and like the video. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.